Hey everyone, I'm Arielle, a photographer from Oceanside, California, and I have a huge passion for interior decorating, so today I'm going to show you four different ways to redecorate the same wall. So the wall I'm working with today is actually a long, narrow entryway in my living room, and it just opens up into this big, wide space, and I think this wall is perfect for just changing it up in general, especially with impermanent pieces. Today I'm going to show you four different setups with four different themes. Styling-wise, I went with different throw blankets, accent colors, and I just tied in the pillows with all the colors that I chose so that I can intermix anything with anything. So the first theme is florals, and we're featuring wall art and posters, which are perfect for the whole impermanence theme because they leave a really small marking on the wall. So for the gallery wall, I really love to organize it by putting everything on the floor, choosing a big focal point, and then building around it. And I loved having the posters on either side to really break up the framed art pieces. There's so many different ways to do it. You can hang paper and do the tape thing, but I just love honestly laying it out, taking a picture of my iPhone, and then referencing my photo later when I'm hanging out my photos. My second theme was beach and I chose a big wall tapestry and this is the easiest setup because it only takes two tacks but it's the most impactful visually. So for this one I didn't do any extra styling because this piece really stood on its own and it just makes a huge impact. So for my third setup I'm doing an art deco theme which is my favorite with a wood wall art statement piece. So the wood wall art is awesome because it comes with this really cool template that you can just hang up, step back, see where you want it to go, and then nailing in is kind of bulletproof because it's color-coded based on the size you got. And I just styled this with another mirror and some wall vessels with some greenery mixed in, and it turned out to be one of my favorites. I love this art deco theme because it can be so versatile, but also just so impactful in terms of colors and shapes, and that's just my style. So for my last theme, I wanted to incorporate more of a Southwest vibe, and I chose this really cool wall hanging that feels so authentic and also vintage somehow. I don't know how they do it, but it looks so cool, and it's one of my favorite pieces. So I thought wall tapestries were easy, but then I pulled out the wall hanging and I was like, um, no, it's one tack, even easier, and super, super statement piece. So those are my four different themes and my four different setups and different creative ways to just switch up the same wall in your home. And it was so easy. Like, honestly, we did this in less than half a day and we were filming. So if you liked anything you saw today, I'm actually going to create a collection of my own for you to take a peek at. And collections are just awesome because there is so much awesome art on the site. It just makes it a little bit easier for when you want to narrow things down and it just creates an easier shopping experience. All right, you guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'm going to go to the beach. See ya.